Hey there, Jag here from Modern Work Training and Consulting. Welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, let's talk about the planner integration with Microsoft To Do. This new feature has just launched uh, in, in the last few days and there's a lot of interest in this feature as well. So some of you have actually asked me, how do I enable this feature on my uh, To Do app? So for you to do that, all you have to do is just click on the, uh, the profile icon within your Microsoft To Do app and within the settings, there's an option for you to enable it. Uh, actually, when you look first time, first log in to Microsoft To Do after this uh, feature has been released, you automatically get a prompt to enable it anyway. If you miss the prompt, you can always go back into the settings and enable it on the, uh, you know, within, as you can see on the card here. So, but let's actually dive deeper and understand like, you know, what is this integration all about? Like, you know, does it integration provide a two-way sync or is it just gonna show up your, your uh, the planner tasks that are assigned to you within within Todo and then you have to manage the task in both areas. So really I'm hoping to see the two-way sync where you can actually, uh, you know, work on the tasks irrespective of the app that you're on. So. Without further ado, let's jump onto the computer and actually have a quick look at how this new feature hangs together. All right, here I am logged in into my Microsoft Planner and you can see there's few tasks assigned to me. If you don't know how to assign tasks to your user, just let's quickly go back and let's pick up a, a plan and then here you can actually see there's some tasks assigned to me. I'm actually logged in as the admin and you can actually see there. So let's go ahead and assign the product demonstration task to myself just click on the assignment option there and search for the name and just click on the name and that how it's assigned to you can actually see that's actually been modified now if i actually close this go back into my tasks area and you can actually see the product demonstration task has been added to my uh, tasks list here within microsoft planner these are all your tasks that are assigned to yourself within microsoft planner now let's see how this actually appears in the micro uh, microsoft to do app so within Microsoft To Do app, you can actually see there's a new uh, option here called Assigned to Me with the uh, with an icon of a user. It's it's all the tasks that are assigned to you within Microsoft Planner. So for you to actually enable this, we've seen how you could do that on the app itself. Uh, with the but let's see how you could do the, you know the enable like in how you could actually enable this feature, uh, the connection between Microsoft Planner and To Do within from the de from the desktop experience. So for that, you just be within the to-do app just go and click on the cog icon here on the top right corner and click on to-do settings and from within to-do settings you can actually see under smart list there's a group for connections and here you can actually turn on you know tasks from planner and also flagged email as well we'll talk about flagged email and uh, the outlook tasks integration in the next tutorial but for now just let's concentrate on the planner integration so once you've turned on, uh, you'll actually see assigned to me option here. You click on that and you can actually see all the tasks that are assigned to you and the recent tasks that I've assigned myself, the product demonstration, you can actually see it's in, um, it's listed in within that list of uh, tasks within the to-do app itself. So here you can actually see, uh, uh, I can actually add this task to my day just to so that I can actually focus on along with that. I can actually add a few more as well. Sorry, I can actually, so I can actually add to my day here within the my day. This is the focus area. We'll talk about uh, the uh, the focus area, the my day functionality within my, uh, Microsoft To Do in the next video. But for now, just assume, um, just just go into the product demonstration here, and from within here, you can actually change the the due date. For example, it's already assigned to the seventh uh, of Feb. If I change this back to say the fourteenth and click save, now if I actually go back and see it's already changed to the 14th of, 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 of February. If I just change it here though, if let's say if I change the due date to the 21st, you know, I'm just, just playing with this. You can actually see it's changed to 21st. And if I go back into Microsoft To Do, I should see this actually changed. It'll take a little while, but it'll come back and it'll it'll actually go and update the, the tasks itself. So let's let me do a quick refresh and see if that's actually updated. It's not yet so but it, there you go it's just come through so just give it a minute and uh, you can actually see now it's changed to 51 that's already 21 of the feb and not only that it can actually go and make some edits as well so so this is a test 
and here uh, I've, I've made a, a a note on this and if you can in, in a moment you can actually see that it actually appears within the planner in in a, in a second before we do that though i just wanted to within within the actual assigned to me area you can actually see uh you can actually see the planner details as well so you can actually see that this particular task is video production one uh, video production plan one product launch event product launch event so you know uh, if 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 you're dealing with multiple plans that information is coming through to microsoft to do as well uh, one other thing that also is uh, you know slightly bothering me is is this assignment if a task is actually within microsoft planner if it's actually assigned for multiple people as you can see here the product demonstration is assigned to two people myself and megan um, in, a, in that case, what it does is it actually shows you that this task is assigned to one other user as well. So there's no, uh, if, if, if I go and say this product uh, complete the task, you know, if, 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 the, if the task with the, for, for Megan, uh, within uh, Megan's to-do app also gets completed as well. I think that's, I think, now that I think about it, it's not a big uh, deal because, you know, that's the native functionality in Microsoft Planner anyway. And also you can see that uh, the, the node that I've put in has actually come through too. Uh, that's that's pretty much it from a uh, from a integration point of view. You can actually see that this is really, um, you know, well integrated uh, feature that Microsoft has re uh, released uh, where there's a two way functionality between Microsoft to do and Microsoft Planner. So there you have it, guys. Uh, it's amazing how you know Microsoft has actually listened to us, the community members, and actually released this feature. And I, I really appreciate the the, the two-way sync between the planner and uh, and and the to-do app, especially if you know when you create a task, uh, when a, when a task gets assigned to you within Microsoft Planner, uh, it automatically gets uh, shown inside your to-do app, and you can start working on your task even while you're on the move, especially you know the to-do app. Uh, you all know that I love to do app. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> Microsoft is actually consolidating all these experiences into a better user experience. As you know, one of my goals for this, uh, uh, actually, go not, not goals, more my like a wish list for this year, 2019, uh, and and. We're already on the right path. So, talking about consolidation, you know, uh, uh, there's there's another consolidation that happened not long ago with respect to to do with respect to task management as such. So, in the next video, we'll talk about that Outlook and Microsoft To Do integration. Stay tuned for that. And if you haven't connected with me on LinkedIn yet, I highly encourage you to connect uh, or follow me on LinkedIn to stay tuned with the tutorials that I do uh, frequently. Thanks for watching. This is Jack Kakalapuri from Modern Work Training and Consulting based in Melbourne, Australia. Thanks a lot. Cheers.